What an amazing process. All these lists of things in my head, you know. We can never dance in public. We can never get married. Now we're going to dance in public and get married on the same day. <laughs> and kiss in public. You can't have kids, you know. Not in public. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, oh, do you want to have kids? Yeah, I want to have kids. Oh, okay, then we can't be together. <laughs> do you want to get married? Yeah, I do too. Oh, well, then we can't be together. Do you want your family to know about our relationship? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Tell you the truth, we weren't going to register here because of this computer, yeah. you know, because it did hit. You know, we didn't want people to have to put in groom and put in our one of our names, you know, because those are the stereotypes we're trying to fight with our families. Right. <laughs> Whose family would freak out the most and who was under groom? <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Yours? I don't know. <laughs> I think there'd be a competition for that. <laughs> Oh, so we're both in under brides. I get it. No, 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 no. no. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, the initials are correct. Oh, okay. Okay. And C. And C, Deborah Stone. Look. It's a bird <laughs> Well, oh, you got to hit the Juiceman Jr. I know. Not the look, big. Look, 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 look. What's the pattern, color, style, any other thing you want to avoid? Skew, style, or color, number. Just put Juice Man Jr. Because this one's too huge. We don't have anywhere to put it. Juice Man, where are they? Juice Person Jr. Get over here and talk to this person. Come over here and talk to me. What are you guys doing here? And why are they filming? Yeah. Huh? Hello, what's your name? Hi, Deborah. I'm Phil. Hi, Come on, Heidi. Okay, Bill. Talk to me. What's going on here? Go ahead. Doesn't that intimidate you guys? You guys keep looking. Well, See, if we were wrong? famous, we wouldn't be intimidated. That's right. Yeah. So you wouldn't be, but you're going to be famous right here. Why? Why are they doing this? Because we're having a commitment ceremony, and they're doing a documentary on it. Oh, really? How interesting. <laughs> so we should have had right. We made a commitment. And we, didn't have, we didn't have anything. We had stills, a couple of stills. A buddy of mine shot a couple of photos over there. But this is great. Yeah. I didn't dwell on her getting married. I, I didn't have any big ambitions for her to get married and have children. But that's the way you think. It's just this normal train of thought that parents think about their children. And, I mean, you don't even think of them hoping that they don't go to jail. You know, you hope they stay out of trouble, but you don't really dwell on, oh, what if they go to prison or something, you know, which would be worse than being gay as far as I'm concerned, so. <laughs> we both decided that Deborah is our daughter. We love her. She's always been a very bright, productive person, and we were not, we were just not going to deprive her of our love, and, and we needed her love as well, and we were just not going to throw her away. These are arrangements, like the different rental how places, we it, how much so we owe, and stuff. the cake, the place we're having it, the DJ, music for the ceremony. And this is how many people we invited. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's a lot of people. And these are in town and out of town, and all these people we sent a pre-letter to. Just the last paragraph said, for those of you who are wondering what this event signifies to us, you know, we've... We've been together eight years and very been very committed to each other, but we've never publicly um, had our dream fulfilled by having a marriage, you know. And we and it, we feel like it's really important to do that for ourselves and and for the people that are in our lives. And we hope you'll come and join us in celebrating our joy. Call it a wedding. I mean, that's what they want it to be. 
And I think they should call it a wedding. And I stumble sometimes, and it's like a shower. <coughs> but um, um, I think that they, they want to have all the traditional things, so they should probably just, just stick to the words wedding until somebody sues them or tells them they can't do that. Well, I think there's something in Bridge that is a uh, wedding marriage. A marriage, but it's not a wedding. But the, the word, one word, a sentence says that a wedding is the act of joining of two people. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say whether it's male or female, it just says... So female. shall we from now on say, Devon, how are you having a wedding? It all depends what Deborah wants. Deborah would like that, I'm sure. So let's let's, let's do that. Yes. <laughs> it was a little foo foo for me, and I I didn't know what I wanted. And then I thought about having um, real flowers in my hair, and and I thought they would kind of get gross after the day, you know, part of the day was over. And then I thought about having baby's breath, and my my hair. The woman that does my hair said, I hate baby's breath and hair. And I was like, Ma, I don't know what to do with my hair. Okay. I don't really want to fail. You want to know why? Yeah. Because veils traditionally have been a sign of submission to men. Having and marriages? Huh? Having marriages? Yeah. Well, you know what? Not everything has to be a major political decision, you know. They looked good with our dresses. I thought they were really sexy, you know. I, I wanted to be able to lift it up and, and um, <laughs> I wanted to be able to lift it up and, and see. Yeah, that's true. So, because I wanted to be able to lift it up and see, you know, the beautiful stuff, you know, my beautiful bride. And I thought, well, I don't want to bless your veil. That's a bit much. That feels a little bit like, you know, the, the virgin maiden kind of thing. And I, that's she's awesome not. Me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> they could have figured that out without having to be so blatant. <laughs> so, anyway. After you break the glass, the tradition is, as I said before, for the couple to kiss. <laughs> you said that like my mom. Uh, kiss. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? We're gonna kiss. We're not we gonna kiss live. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. Hush. There we go. Oh, it's too short. No, it's too long. <laughs> it's too mushy. <laughs> too mushy. Yeah. Probably like that. Okay. That was a little loud. Well, a little less loud. <laughs> <laughs> dad's side of the family only my uncle and aunt really officially responded and they called and they're not sure if they're going to be able to come and on my mom's side of the family my uncle um, and aunt also said they weren't going to be able to come and um, a lot of it I don't know this isn't working for me <laughs> <laughs> have they told you why they're coming what's well, some of them had said, you know, that it's just hard because they don't live here, and so it's just financially really tough times, and, and that's true. I mean, it is hard for people right now financially, but but it's still it's still hard because I'm going to miss them not being there. It would mean a lot to me to have, you know, these people there. And like my father, my father didn't even respond. But Heidi anguished over just telling me, so all of this hurt and pain and loneliness is because she hasn't really been able to talk to me about it or we haven't talked about it a lot and and, and I know she, she probably I she probably cares more about how I'm going to react to it than anything than anybody so she's you know it's upsetting to her to think that maybe you know I would disown her or something they got a little hurt I bet she's got we were talking about it and, and we were wondering you know I mean there's going to be like gays there and then there's going to be 
all these family people there, right? Uh -huh. And then, and then work there's people these, that are... And then work people, and then... We were wondering what it was, you know, going to be, be like weird. to dance and kind of... think it'll be weird? I don't I've know. I've never been to one. I don't know anything. Well, I've never I'll been to a you. mixed thing like that before. Yeah. When we went to Sharon and Inez, I kind of had the same thoughts as you. Like, what is this going to be like? And both right. those families were going to be there and stuff. And I thought, well, you know, we'll just go and see what happens. That was the best wedding I ever, ever went to. And you know why I think it was so cool is that it was their wedding. Mm -hmm. And so we had permission to do whatever we wanted to do. And the straight oh. people were the ones that had to be uncomfortable. Oh, that's, that's a good, good, good thought. <laughs> that's yeah. great. And, and that's yeah. what happened. Everybody was like, I was so excited to dance with Deborah and stuff. We were like, I said, we we're out there. And we were yeah. dancing. Oh, and it was, it was the straight cut people that had to so, be more... Like yeah, being comfortable. Check us out. Because like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know, I like that. think that's great. You're getting married, but all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, you're getting married, and then they go and they get in the situation, and, and they're freaking out. Dancing together, you know, because yeah. of the reality of it right. all. They're like, oh my God. So where is, you know, where are the family members at with that? Well, um, like with the whole thing, you mean, or yeah, well, you know where Deborah's parents are. <laughs> they're like, no problem. They're but like. Deborah's mom sent my mom a letter about a year ago or so. Yeah. And just said, hi, don't you think it's time that we... Oh, wow. We're able Deborah's to... mom, she just Boy, gets she's herself really right in there, doesn't she? <laughs> she's scary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I tell her that. See? Oh, that's good. I said, you're scary. And so I decided that I was going to write Heidi's mother a letter. Even though I had never met her mother, I felt that a mother is a mother, and I know that she must love Heidi, and I knew Heidi loved her, and I thought maybe I could just kind of ease this a little bit for her. I was angry, and I was angry because I, I don't think that it really had the understanding of where I was coming from. It was more like telling me how I should be and, and making me aware of my daughter, but I'm very much aware of my daughter and her feelings. But in this one second part that she says, Heidi has been welcome to attend all of our family functions of which there are many. We love her and respect her, but she has a heavy heart. She would love for you to be more open with her so she could confide in you. She loves you and wants your acceptance. I do hope you do not take offense at this, but Heidi needs her mother. And the last your mom knew, you guys were just friends. Yeah. Right? Well, and then, you know, the last, those, those moms have had contact was when you guys, this is my friend Deborah, and then there was a letter. So, like, has there been any other interaction since then? Since that letter? No, not since the letter. But Except my mom's thinking about coming down for the shower next weekend. Oh. In, in, in L.A. that um, Deborah's cousins are putting on for us. Oh. And that would be really nice. My mom might drive with Janice, and I, I hope she comes because it would be good for her is that to meet Deborah's some sister? people. Deborah's sister. Janice. Yeah. The oh. hardest thing in life for me is to be embarrassed. And that's the hardest thing and this is to a degree depending on who I'm approaching about it it's just you know just, I'm just not like out there with it like maybe some people are <laughs> My mom says, Anne, this is Karen. This is Anne. I went to look for you and Janice. I went down this way. How did you come in? Well, we went around the parking lot next to you and walked through the little pathway. She looks so cute. Do you want me to take this? Over there? The mirror is attached, but not well. I'm not there, but the parking lot. Thanks. AJ, this is my mom. This is Anne Paris. This is. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, it has one of those cool pizza pans. <laughs> She's gone to the table. Is it illegal to cut? Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll have children without having another spoon <laughs> thing. So what was it? Do you think it was the fact that there was a bridal shower and that that was that she couldn't well, continue to resist? Well, what yeah, she it? couldn't continue to resist. I think that she, her and I want so bad to be, you know, mother and daughter. I guess. I 
doing that. I think she just realizes she can't, you know, it's, this isn't going to change. And that seeing us together and seeing Deborah's family and how, I mean, they were so wonderful. They were, I mean, they were into it. It wasn't like there was any effort, like, oh, gee, we have to have a shower and we have to, you know, there's, it was just very, um, <laughs> it was very natural for them just to be loving with us and to, you know, feel good about doing that for us. And my mom saw that, and that was a hard day for her. It was a hard day for me. <laughs> um, This is a day of pure magic. Under this hoopah, surrounded by four beloveds and many, many more who have come today to encircle you with love and joy and celebration. But it is also a day of courage. And it is also a day of hope that someday, very soon, we can all proclaim our love to the world. There are so many things about you which I cherish. You are sensitive and non-judgmental, spontaneous and playful. Your beauty comes from a special place deep inside and radiates for all to behold. I feel that our relationship has been built on trust, patience, respect, communication, friendship, and an everlasting love. I am so proud to stand here and thank you for never compromising and what is right so that we can have the real thing. I found this card the other day, which I thought was perfect. So I wanted to put my vows here. It says, Loving you is like opening a present and finding just what I've always wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I look at you and I'm amazed at how God put you in my life. I love you so much. To shattering homophobia, anger, and hate, to sealing joy and love.
what was the moment in the ceremony that really hit you? When Heidi read. That's what got me. When you think about love, it just, it's just so flippantly used a lot. And it really is something that has to... Um, it was, so if you feel the love, it, it, there's nothing... You don't have to explain exactly just, what. It's just that it's okay. I feel at peace. I feel... And I was glad too, we were standing here, I thought, oh, I'm so glad this, is, this isn't a typical man and woman getting married, just another wedding. <laughs> you know, really, I did, oh, well, I'm just telling you, <laughs> so it goes through my brain. Yeah, well, it is, you know, it was nice, it was beautiful. I'm not sure you can always get that feeling from just, you know, regular wedding. Well, Deborah and Heidi have been working hard on this song, so here we go, this is the waltz once again. Thank <laughs> you. 